yes. So what about the belts? This is another thing I do with, with all my bots. Um, it's really nice to just sit it on the desk and get a look at it like this. Um, sometimes I put it up on, the, on its side and use this as a kickstand um, and the, the front of the bot so you can, it's really easy to get on your bench and get around to where you can work on stuff no matter what angle you need to, to you know, it's not going to hurt it. So here we are with the belts and what I like to do right off the bat is just kind of get them in there and I put them through in this fashion. I straighten these out and I decide, okay, which holes it need to go through first. And it, it, as it is right now, it lines up really nice to go in there. Now the height of this belt is key. I pull this pretty tight at this point. I get one side locked in. And I mean, I pull it tight, really tight. And I get that in there. And it's going to hold uh, just fine while you kind of look at the height of it. You want to run it up and down and see. Um, is that too far up? It is a little far up for my taste. Then when you get it where you like it, you can put this through, depending on how, how much room you've got. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this side first. I think I need a little extra room here. Wow, that's... Whatever's shaking is bugging me. Okay. Of that. So what it does is it, it goes through here, and sometimes it's kind of hard to get that in there. So I'll grab a screwdriver and just twist to give myself some room. Put that down in there. And that locks it in pretty good. If I need to pull it down, I'll get a pair of pliers involved. So my point here is that you can lock down one side real tight. And then you make your adjustments on the other end. Let's try that again. Pull this tight. There we go. I've got a lot more room to work with there. If that, if I used, would have used the right screw, I'd have a little more room. But once you get that pulled through, so one last little tip, some people like to put a little zip tie, if you've got any extra, on the end there. Um, me, I like to kind of wrap this around and get it out of the way. It's one reason I like the longer bolts. Actually, it works pretty good. And now when you push this thing across on its linear bearings, it's going to give you a little pull. And what you're feeling is the motor itself, right? So really inspect this part really, really carefully. Um, you want to see how, if it's skipping any, I've got, I can tell you right now that I've got a little skip, and the reason is I didn't push my motor down far enough, so that's going to be one adjustment I'm going to want to make. But for, uh, as far as assembly, that's really, really pretty good. I'll start fine-tuning later. Now the last thing, this guy. There's some debate on whether or not where did that go. There's some debate on whether or not to go flat to the bed. Now this is a poor example because this is a flimsy piece of wood um, for my mock-up here. The wood that you're going to get is six millimeters thick. It's very rigid, very stiff, and very flat. And you get them on, you get them bolted down to these bars, and it really gets sturdy. It's as flat as you're going to get. Um, so what I do. I used to elevate them, and you saw in my pictures, this was elevated, it kind of stood up, and you got all these nice little adjustments. Again, in the spirit of minimalism. What I do now is I bolt these straight down to the board, and I've got this hole, so the wire that's going to be soldered right here, I'll do that soldering for you. It's going to go underneath, trail out the back, reach the electronics. So we will bolt this down and I have some screws here keep you waiting these are really too long but I just want to illustrate these are uh, 
some screws. And now the beautiful thing is if you want to elevate this and have it on springs, so it's a sprung board, and you don't want to mess with um, going all the way down to the bed and you want some adjustability, you're worried about it, um, you certainly can. I'm not going to tighten these down right now. Uh, I just want to kind of illustrate. So you can spring these boards and have the adjustment. But what I say is try it first and see if this is sufficient for you. Now, the only last thing I'll say is um, there's several different ways to affix this to the board. You can drill your own holes. You can get clips that go across this. There's all sorts of um, ways to get your board to stick. And what I recommend is glass along the top. And then you can put your Kapton tape on the top. Um, the glass, what it does is if there is any inconsistencies or if there's a little warp in this board, when a board gets hot, it'll warp just slightly. Um, it will, that glass will kind of compensate for that, and the glass doesn't bend much. And you can get a little piece of glass that's slightly undersized and put it across here and then hold it down. Uh, some people use clips, some people make little things with their printer.